There is no greater education than one that is self-driven. The universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Knowing how to think empowers you far beyond those who know only what to think. Curious that we spend more time congratulating people who have succeeded than encouraging people who have not. For me, I am driven by two main philosophies, no more today about the world than I knew yesterday and less in the suffering of others. You'd be surprised how far that gets you. Follow the evidence wherever it leads, and question everything. Pretending to know everything closes the door to finding out what's really there. Ignorance is a virus. Once it starts spreading, it can only be cured by reason. For the sake of humanity, we must be that cure. As areas of knowledge grow, so too do the perimeters of ignorance. If you want to assert a truth, first make sure it's not just an opinion that you desperately want to be true. The day we stop exploring is the day we commit ourselves to live in a stagnant world, devoid of curiosity, empty of dreams. When you are a hammer, all of your problems will look like nails to you. One thing in life is for certain, the more profoundly baffled you have been in your life, the more open your mind becomes to new ideas. We spend the first year of a child's life teaching it to walk and talk and the rest of its life to shut up and sit down. There's something wrong there. Science reveals that all life on Earth is one. Everyone should have their mind blown once a day. We are part of this universe, we are in this universe. But perhaps more important than both of those facts, is that the universe is in us. If you're scientifically literate, the world looks very different to you, and that understanding empowers you. To learn more about science, turn off your electronic device and go outside and look around a bit. Nature is calling you. Go on. The internet will still be here. Dinosaurs are extinct today because they lacked opposable thumbs and the brain power to build a space program. The remarkable feature of physical laws is that they apply everywhere, whether or not you choose to believe in them. After the laws of physics, everything else is opinion. We are all connected, to each other, biologically, to the earth, chemically to the rest of the universe atomically. Not only do we live among the stars, the stars live within us. The good thing about science is that it's true whether or not you believe in it. Math is the language of the universe. So the more equations you know, the more you can converse with the cosmos. All information is good, even when it is bad. Give a kid a book, and you change the world. In a way, even the universe. In life and in the universe it's always best to keep looking up. When we try to look farther into the universe we come to what appears to be the end of space but actually it's the beginning of time. Not only are we in the universe, the universe is in us. I don't know of any deeper spiritual feeling than what that brings upon me. Scientific inquiry shouldn't stop just because a reasonable explanation has apparently been found. Claiming there is no other life in the universe is like scooping up some water, looking at the cup and claiming there are no whales in the ocean. 
People like it when they understand something that they previously thought they couldn't understand. It's a sense of empowerment. Science is a philosophy of discovery. Intelligent design is a philosophy of ignorance. You cannot build a program of discovery on the assumption that nobody is smart enough to figure out the answer to a problem. Does the full moon affect people's behavior? You ask? Yup. It makes people think the full moon affects people's behavior. Extreme skepticism and extreme gullibility are two equal ways of not having to think at all. And I don't think I'm the first to say that. We are stardust in the highest exalted way, called by the universe, reaching out to the universe.